Why Star Trek again? I suppose the real truth is that I have always looked upon the Enterprise and its crew as my own private view of Earth and humanity in microcosm. If this is not the way we really are, it seems to me most certainly a way we ought to be. During its voyages, the Starship Enterprise always carried much more than mere respect and tolerance for other life forms and ideas. It carried the more positive force of love for the almost limitless variety within our universe. It is this capacity for love for all things which has always seemed to me the first indication that an individual or a race is approaching adulthood. There may still be long and awkward years for humanity between now and maturity, but we have at least come within some reach of understanding that our future can hold any new dimensions of challenge and happiness that we desire and deserve. While we humans may still be a considerable distance from understanding truth, or even of being able to cope with it, I believe that we are at last beginning to understand that love is somehow integral to truth. Perhaps it demarks the path leading there. Much of my pleasure in Kirk, Spock, McCoy, Uhura, Scotty, Chekhov, Chapel, and Rand had to do with such thoughts. I have always found some hope for myself in the fact that the Enterprise crew could be so humanly fallible and yet be some of those greater things, too. Gene Roddenberry